Good morning, my students. Today we are going to complete lesson one, follow organizing data in matrices. First of all, we are going to take the meaning of equality of two matrices. When we can say that the two matrix are equal, when all of the elements in the first matrix equal all of the elements in the second matrix, here one, two, negative one, five, one, two, negative one, five. Example for this, you have A, 3, 4, 0, negative 2, and B, negative 3, 4, 0, negative 2. Is A equals B? Explain your answer. Look at the first element, A11, and B11. Here is 3, and here is negative 3. So because they are not equal, so A not equals B. Now you have example how to use the equality matrices to find the unknown. Use the equal matrices to solve the equations. So we are going to solve it as equation. 2x plus 5 equals what here? 25. So I want to get x, the unknown. So 2x plus 5 equals 25. Find the unknown x, it will be 10. What is the other value? Y. You have here y plus 18 equals what? 3x plus 12. Here you have two unknown, x and y. But before we get x, x equals what? 10. Substitute x with 10. 3 times 10 plus 12 equals y plus 18. So y equals 24. Multiplying a real number by a matrix, what you are going to do is to multiply or to, to distribute each, each uh, element by the real number. Negative 2 times 4, negative 8, negative 2 times 1, negative 2, negative 2 times 5, negative 10, negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2. Here we have an example A. I give you A and I want you to find negative 5A. What you are going to do is to multiply each element times negative 5 with the calculator. You will get the answer. Transpose of a matrix. What's the meaning of transpose? That means that you are going to replace each row are replaced by the column and the columns are replaced by the rows. We get a new matrix which is what? Transpose matrix and we denote it or we can sell the sample of this is A transpose T or A transpose all of the bracket T, T go with T equals A. Find the transpose of each of the following. A, 1, 2, negative 1, 3, negative 1, 5. First row, 1, 2, negative 1, it will be a column, 1, 2, negative 1. The second row, also it will be what? A column. What is the order of this matrix? 1, 2, 3, so 3 times 2. What about B? B is what? Is a row matrix. We took it before. If we want to change a row matrix and get the transpose, that means it will be a column matrix. What is the order of this matrix? One, two, three, so three times one. The last thing in our lesson is symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. B equals zero, negative one, 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 zero, negative 3, negative 1, 3, and 0. If we want to check, first of all, we are going to get B transpose. How we can get it? We, we say before, you are going to replace each row by a column. Is B transpose equal P? No, they are not equal. So if they are not equal, we are going to get the second step is negative B transpose. Multiply it by negative. When you multiply it by negative, you will find that B equal negative B transpose. That means that this matrix is skew symmetric. If they are not equal like this example, you have A and you are going to get first A transpose. When you get A transpose, you will find that A equals what? A transpose. So you are not going to take or get the second step which is negative A transpose. Why? Because A equal A transpose. That means that they are what? Symmetric. And now we finish uh, lesson one. Tomorrow, inshallah, we are going to take lesson two.